Okay. That was my attempt. That's being silly. Wait just a couple minutes and we'll get started. I have a magic trick for you. I have a magic trick. It's going to be good. You got to watch it. Okay. Okay. Do you believe in magic? That's the question for the day. Hey, crazy Roddy moms. I thought I'd uh, come in here real quick. I've got a little bit of a break from work and I want to show you a magic trick that you guys may not have seen before. So, lemon. Lemon is my powerful oil of the day that we're going to talk about. And I can show you a couple different things with it. First, let me show you the reason why we always tell you to put oils in a glass bottle instead of a styrofoam cup. So here is a styrofoam plate. And do you see how tattered it is? I actually had to dig to find something styrofoam in my house because I don't keep it anymore in the house. I use a lot of glass with it. But we've got a couple of drops of lemon oil and we've got styrofoam. And I'm just going to put a couple of drops on the styrofoam. And then we're going to come back to this here in a couple of minutes. Do you see the oil in there? And I got some of my fingers. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Oh, who loves the smell of lemon in the morning? So, you never waste oil. You always put it on yourself. And it only takes 22 seconds to start impacting your body and your emotions. Lemon is one of those that uh, can be a booster when you need a booster if you're having one of those days. So I have regular lemon here and I have lemon vitality. The difference is uh, for FDA purposes, we just have to label them different. It's both lemon. So this one is a 15 ml bottle. This one is a 5 ml. This is what comes in the starter kit. But So we're going to talk about my favorite new toy, my fidget spinner. I have lemon on this today, so I'm just sitting, I'm just, I'm just, just using lemon all day. So let's talk about our cells. Why is lemon so important with our cells? Our cells over time get gunked up. So if you think of it like an oil spill on the Great Lakes, for example, or on an ocean, there is an oil slick, right? Like if you think about in terms of that, we have healthy cells and then over time they become unhealthy. So what is the difference? And I don't know if this is going to come through where you can read it the right way or if it's going to be backwards. So I will take a picture of this and put it in the comments below. So the healthy cell is on the top. Nutrients gets in and waste comes out. On the bottom, over time, when our body is exposed to different things such as propylene glycol, um, glycerin, hydrogenated oils, there's a few more on here, mineral and baby oil, um, I used to bathe in baby oil when I would go tanning, <laughs> petroleum jelly, petroleum jelly, and sugar and alcohol, our cells become where we cannot function properly and the receptors, the cell receptors get uh, coated and it won't take anything in and it won't take anything out. So because our bodies are designed to do just that, when we put a coating on the outside of our cells, that's when we get unwell, we get sick. So what this is showing you is nutrients can't get in and waste can't get out. Here are the items. Again, if it's backwards, I'll, I'll put this up. Okay. So what does lemon have to do with this? So lemon, when you put lemon in your water, just a few drops in your water, or you put lemon on um, topically, but that's one of those photosensitive oils that you don't want to go out in the sun after you've slathered lemon all over yourself. So I like to use lemon vitality and put it in my glass water bottle. But so we're going to pretend this balloon is a cell. So this balloon is one of our cells that have been corroded and gunked up. And this represents um, all of the things that are like our cell and the cell receptors that we can't get to. So what we're going to do, I'm going to scare myself. I know I am. I'm going to jump. So just pre warning. When we introduce lemon into our bodies, it doesn't necessarily, you know, do anything harmful to us. It only helps, but it eats away at all the damage that we've done to our cells and it made, it puts balance back into that area of your life. So I'm just going to put one drop and it popped. It, it, 
so quickly took off the covering or the the plastic cover of our cell receptors if you think about it like that and that is why I use lemon in my water every day so in addition to using lemon in my water every day if it does that to plastic and corrosion and all the things that really shouldn't be there lemon is one of the very powerful ingredients that's in our thieves cleaner and so our thieves cleaner is incredibly powerful because it has lemon essential oil in it it has other oils in it as well that are you know to help keep uh, things out of our home that can cause us to be unwell and I wanted to show you that cool magic trick and uh, there's other uses for lemon as well gum and hair you can get out by using lemon you can put it in this aroma spinner it does great things for your um, your emotions the oil the smell it actually helps to balance that area of your life and so if you diffuse this with a little peppermint you get great smell and you get um, the benefit as well so I'm going to show you just in that short period of time what has happened to our styrofoam do you see our styrofoam the, the lemon is trying to purify the styrofoam and because there is no nothing pure in styrofoam it's actually eating away at the whole thing so I don't know if you guys can see that hopefully somebody comment if we um, if we can see it so we use this a lot to demonstrate the power and why you don't put it in a plastic container you don't put it in a plastic container is because plastic has some of those same components that are in a styrofoam cup and we do not want you to put lemon in a water bottle and drink it a plastic water bottle because you'll be this will start dissolving in the water and then you drink it so really important uh, not to do that and I also want to show you guys my really cool cup you see what it says I seriously don't get why some people don't like essential oils it makes no freaking sense makes no freaking frankincense not freaking sense um, so I'm gonna give one of those mugs away today with people who comment on the video and tell me one thing that you learned and if you liked my magic trick or not that's the question of the day did it surprise you have a fantastic day and I will talk to you soon